Okay, this is part 15 of my Python game engine programming tutorial series. And in the previous lesson, we were just having the cylinder hit the plane and then it would start rotating on its own. Let's fire that up. And I press P and then it goes. And if I left mouse click or hit the A key, then those objects take off like that. All right, that's just kind of a review as to where we were. All right, now in this case, a lot of times what you're doing in, within a game, or even if it's not a game, you want to switch the scene based upon something happening. So we'll do it in two steps. We'll do it in two different tutorials. And the first one we'll do is just, we'll switch the scenes manually, and we'll kind of get used to it. And then on the next uh, lesson, we'll actually do it within code. So let's go into the scripting. Yeah, we're in scripting here. Let's look at this a little bit closer like this. So from here, we've been, we've had, this object and associated with this object we've had this code that I also called cube object in here and with the cylinder I have code associated with that and I had called that code the cylinder object like this here and it was doing its own thing so in the same way that you can create new text files down here by clicking plus creates a text file where you can press X and unlink it and then you can switch between the files just by going in through here. Scenes are the same way, except they're done up here. And by default, these are, well, this one's actually called scene. I actually have it named scene one, but yours is going to show up as scene like that. So I'm going to call it scene one here. And then I'm going to get a new scene by pressing the plus button. Well, you have all these options. And we're going to deal with the last one, just full copy of this existing scene. I've done a tutorial in my quick tip tutorials or my tutorials for new users that distinguishes between linking objects. And that's a really important distinction. But for now, we won't worry about that. We'll just do a full copy of this scene. It's simpler. So I'll do a full copy of the scene. And notice as it renames it for us. So I'm just going to give it a new name and I'll call it scene two here. But it is a different scene. If you switch between the two, they don't look different. But the important thing to notice is that if I right click on this, the name is cube. And if I go over to scene two and right click on it, it's cube.002. It's renamed it for me. And the same with cylinder in here is cube.002. But back in scene one, it's called just cylinder. All right. So the names have become completely different. And that's an important distinction because when you copy the scene, it doesn't copy all the code again. You're using the same code, and we're going to have to change that here in a bit. So to, for starters, just to kind of get used to it, we'll do this scene switching through the logic bricks. And then in the next lesson, we'll do it through the code. And then, it, then it'll make it simpler that way. So let's go into the game logic mode like here. I'm in scene one. I'll use the plane as my object for putting a logic brick in. And then I'll add a, uh, a sensor. I'm going to add a keyboard sensor. Maybe we'll use the S key. Press here, press S. I'll add an AND controller connect those together and then over here for the actuator I want to come down here and add a scene and I'll connect those up and then the mode that I want instead of restart I want set scene and then I'm going to select the scene that I want and that's going to be scene 2 so I'm basically saying when it, the S key is pressed within scene 1 switch to scene 2 I mean it's really that straightforward alright so let's go back into the next scene let's switch over to scene 2 now and press that and it also will have to have the same thing set up so I'll put a keyboard and I'll just use the same key just for consistency connect those together add another scene actuator and change that to set scene and press back to scene one here alright and so let's distinguish this let's change just oh let me go into uh, default mode here and grab this we'll just change the color a little bit that way I know which scene is which so scene 2 is green instead so now scene 1 is orange instead alright like this okay so that should be enough to get it to work for starters let's see what happens when we do this let's just press P and that's hitting the ground and going now when I now if I press S it switches the scene that you're going to have to we'll address this camera issue here in a bit. It uses your last view and then I press it again. You can see I'm switching scenes like this. So I know I'm in between the two. So I'm left clicking within scene one and that's working. And if I go into scene two and if I left click, it's not working. All right. So there, 
the reason that is not working is because the well there's two things going on one thing is that because we're, we're in scene two these have become renamed and it's still using this let's go back into the scripting mode it's still using this Q or the cylinder objects using the cylinder object code but notice here all right hang on no let's use the other one first let's go to the uh, cube object all right so within cube object normally what we're doing we're looking at the cube object here and the code is coming down here and it says add a projectile which we knew was on layer two to this empty projectile which is our empty so in scene one that's going to work because that's called empty projectile but if I switch over to scene two it's renamed it and now it's called empty projectile two so they're not the same thing so in order to fix that what you have to do is I'll just come in here and I'll just copy this whole thing right now just for the moment I'll just copy it all and then I'm gonna come over here and give this a new name and I'm gonna call this cube object scene 2 like that and then I come here and paste it like that and then since I know that those were named up here differently just for starters I'll just use these one well let's verify that even in layer 2 let's go look at layer 2 we're in scene 2 layer 2 I'm just going to shift and get that let's see what these are named target.002 and projectile.002 so it's renamed those as well so that's why within scene 2 in this code here this is going to have to be called projectile.002 and this one was let's see that was should be empty projectile yep.002 so you can rename it how you want 002 the target was called target.002 and then to empty projectile 2 was the other one's name which was that but now it's called empty projectile that's not it where is it empty projectile no empty projectile 2.002 right just how it logically sounds okay like this so at least and this is only for the keyboard event for the moment and that's with the a key i haven't done it to the to the left mouse key but that would have to be changed as well all right so now let's go back into scene one we'll start it up and i'll press uh, p and then i'm going to left mouse click and it works in here now i'm going to press s to switch scene and that is the left mouse clicks not working but if the a key oh the a key is not doing it either so let's see what i did error wise um, oh so I know what the error is going to be is that the the logic bricks have to be changed as well so under scene 2 we'll go into the logic bricks here and where was that that is associated with let's see with the cube object see notice it's cube object it's trying to use the code from the previous thing so I want to use cube object scene 2 like this alright and notice when it's coming in it's looking at this camera in scene 2 here like that so I'm just going to take this camera maybe I'll move it down here like this and better rotate it on Z a little bit yikes I'll maybe move it on its own on its individual origin RZ I right, kind of looking down the scene like that and maybe RX move it up a little bit so now we should be looking at that camera when it switches the scene alright so now let's go back into scene one one more time and press P and now left click should work and A should still work that's scene one we haven't done anything different there now I'm going to press S I've switched to scene two now you see I'm in that new camera view left click should not work still because I haven't changed that but now A oh no A is still not working 
all right, still make, still have a bug. We're going to fix it quickly. Unless I accidentally changed the wrong scene. That's cube object in scene one. And scene two is cube object scene two. So that should work there. All right, let's look at the cube object. Oh, I know what it is. So we'll go into the scripting. And we'll go to cube object scene two. So let's see what we're looking at up here. We'll get the controller, current scene, show the mouse. Here's the problem. Yellow cylinder is equal to, no, it's not yellow cylinder. It's now cylinder.002. And icosphere is also target. Let me see. This. Yeah, we see the problem. All these, that's going to be icosphere.002. Yikes, didn't want to do that. Dot zero zero two. Icosphere dot zero zero two. Let me see what else. Make sure I'm trying to get enough so we can get it going. I mean, I think you see where we're heading with it. Unless I'm getting it, unless these are giving me errors down here, they may just because they're not named in that scene. So we're going to give these. We're just going to fix those names. All right, let's see if that's enough for starters. It goes for your yellow cylinder. Yeah, okay. All right, so now go back to scene one. Press P. There's my left mouse. There's my A key. Now switch to scene two with the S key. Press P. Now P is working and press A. And A is working. So there we go. So it was being confused because I didn't have all the all the objects named appropriately in here. So that l brings us to the point that when you add scenes up in here, and you, if you go watch that other tutorial, what this does, when you link objects or object data, basically you're not making a copy of the data. You're making, you're basically, it's like a pointer if you're a programmer in C. You're basically looking at where the existing data is and you're just using a copy of the existing data from the other scene. Well, that's okay in some cases, but then if I come over here, if I had made a link of the scene and changed the color in here in scene one, then it would also change it in scene two. And also, if I'm in scene one, if I had deleted this object, if I had created a linked scene, and then I was in scene two, it would also have deleted it in scene two as well. So when you make a full copy, it doesn't matter. Full copy means in scene one, I could delete this, but I could go over into scene two, and it would still be there. All right, so that's a that'll take a little while to get used to, but this will kind of get you started just for now, and then in the next lesson, we'll work on doing this in code. All right, all right, well, that's for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.